Welcome to the Amped Podcast. On this episode, we bring you another masterclass in collaboration with MTN. Get your caller tunes now. Enjoy. How's everyone doing? I go by the name of DJ Cleo. From the get go, I'm going to start with a QA session. So, guys, please feel free. Anything goes, there's no stupid question. I'm here to answer what you need me to answer. Sure. My name is Oratile. How old are you? I'm 20. 20? Yes. All right. Your career is older than me. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what I wanted to ask is, yo, like starting with your music career, uh, 2006. My career started in 2000. In 2000? Yeah. But your first album was, was in uh, 2004. 2006. Oh, 2004. We can't argue. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm just checking. Pella, Pella Spotify. It's Spotify. All right. Yeah, so how did you sustain your career, like, for, for that long? Like, that's more than a decade. Let me just address uh, the elephant in the room. He did say my career is older than him, but his greeting was sure. <laughs> sure. So let's get that out of the way. Uh, respect will get you far, for starters. That's how I sustain my career. No matter how successful I may be, Oskido will always be my hot man. And whenever I speak to him on WhatsApp or whatever, I'll always say, hot man, hot man, not show. So let's just get that right, Inji. A lot of you guys nowadays, in are lost, you know. Nikolisa uh, on Facebook, where after befriending someone, it gives you an option to say, say hi. <laughs> you know? Um, and then everywhere is hi, hi, sure, sure. Ah. How did I sustain my career? Focus. I still don't drink, don't smoke. Don't sniff, don't spliff. That's one. Respect. Three, like I said, it's what I do. It's my plan A, plan B, and plan C, so I can't f up. Sorry, I really cannot. A lot of f happened behind the scenes before me getting here, you know? But we are here now, you know, and it's happening. And those that know me know what a workaholic I am. That's one thing I do, I work. When I work, I work. Everything else, I, it's fun, it's fun. Make no mistake about it. It's fun, it's fun, and I'm never late for anything, ever. You know, me, I'm there on time because work is all I have to fall back on, nothing else. I'm not handsome, I can't use my looks. All I have is the talent that's in the hands, the ears, my brain, and the little time that I've been blessed with to do what I do best. So in terms of simplicity in, a, in your production, is it, is it something that you would also need to think about, especially for like radio and stuff like that. Simplicity is everything. I'm a sucker for chords, you know, for jazzy stuff. But 2017, after doing so many beautiful songs that I believed were beautiful songs, I decided to try simplicity, like just, because you know, sometimes you put so much effort into a song and you can see that uh, people don't even notice how much effort went into it. So I just thought, let me just do something simple. And, I literally told myself, I am going to do the simplest song ever. Very, like a bass line, very straight. Very, very straight, just. That's the bass. But the synth went. a big song. Simple. Cause we have songs where I put chords and and ah. So yeah, sometimes just keeping it simple works. And then in terms of preparation, there's a song I did by mistake. Literally I was working on another song and I was trying to come up with the bass line. And I came up with the wrong bass line, but it sounded dope. So I quickly opened another song, recorded that bass line, and then parked it. And that bass line was... Angel. 
Vicho, Vicho. So sometimes preparation is useless. Yeah. But I think Thank you. Just be ready to work. Could you share like some of your music process, like from maybe generating uh, the, the music maybe to the final product? Hey, there's no set process that I follow, bro. For me, it's, I need to be in the, in the right space. And the right space for starters is just want to work, not be tired, not be influenced by anything because I need to work. The most important thing is just being able to understand what it is that I'm trying to do. Am I trying to make a song for myself as a Kaza Mina or as a Kaza Bantu? So why I asked them to put this thing here is so that I can just sometimes just demonstrate some of the most simple yet intricate things. Do you guys know what chops are? Okay, cool. You know what is to chop something? To cut. Yes, so here's the note. Very long note. Yes? Yes. Now I'm gonna chop it up once. Get it? If I played this and I said, here's a song, is it enjoyable? So maybe I must chop it up into nice chops again. So I can go. Yes? Or I can chop it up further. Right? chops. Do you get it? Yeah. So it's all about chops. So sharp. What am I doing here? Am I making a song for me? Okay, let's say I'm doing it for a band. Okay. For where? For what? Clubs. Uh, maybe just to put it out there, you know. So if I'm making it for clubs, now I must think about it in the context of other songs that would go with it. Understand? So, okay, ah, heavy K has used these chops, so let me not, uh, hey, but this, this chop that I've just come up with sounds like Span Bani, so stay away from it, you know? So, a simple thing like just chops, simple thing, can make or break a song. Thank, Thank you, Hartman. My name is Yanga, I'm 21 years old. Um, and I'm a singer, and I recently found my passion in music, like this year. Um, How? So I used to study film um, at AFTA, but then I had to drop out because of e fees. Um, but then um, there was this one day waking up. I think it was in Feb, and God just told me that you're 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 a singer, nah, and. It was a thing of, Mara, I've never seen this line of work as in don't, that would carry me throughout have life. have you sang before? Yes. Seeing it is one thing. Have you sang before? Yes. Sir. Sing, let's hear. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you're not a singer. I am a singer. Sing. Sing. Fatso. Giajabu. Lukasika malako lala o sisi gikel shalenang to forever more sisi lala ya jabu lukasika malako lala. Oh, forever more. My baby boo, my baby boo, my baby boo, baby boo, baby boo, my baby boo, my baby boo, my baby boo, baby boo. Baby 
So what's your question? Um, so I recently learned how to use FL from my brother. I'm having this problem where when I make a song, it sounds good one minute, but then when I listen to it the next day, it's like, I question it. That's normal. That's normal. Yeah. So That's normal. I guess I'm, I'm trying I, to figure I am out like how. you. But yeah? It sounds nice there, that time. Tomorrow yeah. is like, hey, what was I thinking? <laughs> it happens. OK, thank you. Absolutely normal. When I put out an album in at 12 tracks, you must know that I've got about 50 songs. 50 complete songs and maybe 30 others that are just ideas and I never just, I never finished them. And maybe 20 others that I scrapped and deleted completely. So it's normal. Calling out all M content creators, from artists to podcasters to any creator who uses any form of audio. You can now upload your very own audio clip from a song to a content clip and promote your work using the MTN Call of Tunes platform. The cherry on top is you can use the Call of Tunes to make some moolah, cash, pesos by getting your fam, friends and fans to use your Call of Tunes which will mean money in your pocket. So basically every time someone listens to your Call of Tunes, likes it, they simply press any key from 1 to 9 to download it as their own and that is a win for you too. You can submit your audio through Amp's very own distribution channel with MTN by sending it to the very email below. And of course, through Call of Tunes, you get access to the creative world of Amp Studios with access to our resources from recording studios to podcasting equipment to events, networking sessions, and all of it. Get as creative as you want with MTN Call of Tunes and Amp Studios. What are deals that um, artists should shy away from? It's difficult to say because it's like saying, I will assume that we cheat and you identify as a male. Yeah. Correct. So it's like me saying to you, what kind of girls you should shy away from? Experiences vary from person to person. What works for me won't necessarily work for you. Um, show me. Awesome. Awesome. And this is just an example. It's like me saying to you, because I'm petty, I say, yay, chief, shy away from closer girls. Meanwhile, it's easier for you to communicate with a closer girl because you are closer. Yeah, bomba, I, I, I find. You know what I mean? So it's difficult for me to say to you, what this is, this shy away from this kind of deal. For me, honestly, everything I've done in life, the good and the bad and the wrong, has made me the person I am today. So every deal you're going to get into, ride it, bro. Ride it, make the most of it, because you're learning. There's only, there's only one way you're going to learn. It's by doing things. So I can say, don't sign an artist deal. Do it yourself, boy. How are you going to enjoy what do it yourself means if you've never done this? OK, no, sign an artist deal. How are you going to enjoy that if you don't know how hard it is to do it yourself? So which one should I advise? Artist deal or do it yourself? You need experience on both to appreciate both. Right? I honestly cannot say, don't do this, do that. I can't. The best thing is to get your facts straight and really, really research on all types of deals. So, okay, this one, how does it benefit me? Where does it limit me? Okay, option two, how does it benefit me? Where does it limit me? How does it benefit me versus this one? How does it limit me versus this one? Okay, option three, how does it benefit? How does it limit? How does it benefit versus these two? How does it limit me versus these two? Mara, if I try this, Mara, I'm a little bit of that, and then, uh, and then, uh, that's how genres are born. That's how custom sort of contracts are born, or deals, or whatever. What do you think of the current state of music production in South Africa? The music industry right now, for me, feels like 
It's a free for all. Granted, people are allowed to do what they want to do. You know, it's not for me to stop anyone. But I feel like it's not regulated. Anyone and everyone can do things. And because of that, you have oversupply of everyone that does the same thing. And this is in no way me being trying to be disrespectful to anyone. And because there's an oversupply, how many radio stations is there? Very few. There's only so many spots to play music on a radio station. There's only so many songs you can play, or rather so little songs you can play. And a good lesson you must split it amongst the whole industry. You must split it amongst the piano, house, three-step, quieto, classics, Afro-pop, jazz, you name it, you name it, you name it, gospel. I understand? So now, once all of you are doing the same thing, really? You understand? And this is why, also, because the rate of consumption is so fast now, in Gomi by heat today, says Koshi Yongai, four weeks later. It becomes people for people to sustain themselves or to sustain their careers because half of them don't even know what and Ninja. It's hard to reach out radio stations while you're an independent artist. But if you, you were able to manage to get a TV plugger and they hear the music playing on TV while you didn't manage to get the radio streams, will they reach out or not? When I did that song, Aksi Mile Kom, I was very despondent in the industry. So I was actually inspired by Ricky Rick. You know, you remember that, that, that speech he made at the Metro FM Awards? And he, he said something like, everything lives on the internet now. Um, to the young kids out there, do whatever you do and just put it out, internet, blah, blah, blah. And I drew so much inf inspiration from that speech. That's how I approached that song, Yile Kon. And literally, I told myself and a few people close to me that I'm doing this song and I'm just gonna put it out. I'm not gonna give it to radio. I'm not gonna give it to TV. I'm just gonna do my thing. And I, that's exactly what I did. And I focused on the internet literally for a good 28 days. And I didn't give it to radio. Whoever played it on radio, I don't know where they got it from, where they got the credits from, because I never gave it to radio. And I only shot the video like five months later because it had blown up. So yes, radio nowadays doesn't make talent and it doesn't go to find talent or find the music. Obviously they expect you to bring the music to them, but also they don't find the hot songs and just help them grow, you know? So do you, you know, uh, build your own brand. I mean, my current song, Tong Po, it's trending. That song is 2022 came out in 2022. I didn't push that song. I only shot a video like three weeks ago. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. That song came out October, November, 2022. It caught fire in its own time, wherever, however. Literally, I don't know. I didn't market it. I didn't give it to radio. I didn't give it to TV. I didn't do nothing. I just put it out. If you have been rejected before, before Ube Famous, before Unge uh, Negui Industry, Abantu Abageba reject, we are going to pin the Sebens and Abungu, now that Sebequas, we are both. Funubuza football, how do you deal with Nendos Ganja, Natasa Nitibana, Guma events, Yabo, Oganye, you have to ban it Tibane somewhere. So when Funubuza alone, if you have been rejected, Uzamuk knocker on some doors, Uzamuk utinao maupumele lufumane something. You've been rejected, it happens, it's life. Do it till they know you. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. trust you me, once they know you, yes, they'll come. And it feels good when they're coming, because now it's on my terms. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true, that's dope. So, Mekan ah, well, it's life, it's normal. Yeah, this life is normal, you know, but obviously I'm not the same person I was back then.
Yeah, so look, when, when people come to you, it's because they want something. What do you want? Oh, you want this? Okay, sharp. Yeah, we can. <clears throat> Me now, I'll pr I work this way, so do you still want it? Yeah, we do. Okay, sharp, let's. No beef. No, no, no. <laughs> look, beef, beef, I wouldn't call it beef. Obviously, Umuntu, that's done you bad. It helps to remember what happened with them so that you don't make the same mistakes again. You know what I mean? Or you know how to best deal with them in the future, you know? So I wouldn't call it beef. For me, it's a, let's call it a grudge. Cause then I need to remember, but nah, I'm fundis. <laughs> Avoid things that, that are gonna affect your peace. I'm told, in a negative way. Just avoid things that are gonna affect you in a negative way. Just keep it moving. It's life, you know? You'll get screwed over everywhere, be it relationships, you know, Angelini, Etixini, Estratin Sako, in your family, your cousin, work, anywhere. It's life, it's, it's, it's human beings. So just me not trying to stay away from drama. You know, I guess also as you get older, you know, you just try and just remain focused on where you're going. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Amp Studios podcast. In collaboration with MTN Play, subscribe to this podcast now. For more information about Amp Studios, go to ampstudios.co.za. That's ampdstudios.co.za. And don't forget to get your caller tunes now.